Hi everyone, I'm Jorasar and this is the battle report for Meta Athena vs Rhino's Gaming Wings. Meta are currently second place in the group and only require one map to progress to the round of eight, while Rhino's Gaming Wings are in a position where they have to 3-0 Meta Athena to achieve the same result. Let's see how it went down. With Nepal's Sanctum submap loaded up, Rhinos took the first cap with their dive composition against the 2-2-2 Death Ball of Meta Athena, who were quick to adjust and swapped over to a true dive formation to match. This began a back and forth control of the point. As percentage climbed for both teams, Athena closed the round out with Sire players Tracer and Libero's Genji providing the picks to drag them over the line. Moving over to Shrine, the gap between the two teams now grew immensely with Meta Athena's ult management and coordination firmly placing them in control, securing not only the first cap but blazing through the round and even pushing so far as to spawn camp Rhino's gaming. This cemented the map point and guaranteed Meta Athena to progress to the second group stage. Now out of the tournament but with fight money still on the line, Rhino set out with their dive comp to assault point A on King's Row, faltering at first against a massive wave of defensive ults, but rallying in their next attempt by leaning on Tyrant's 3k blade and building momentum for Street by eating Hoon's Graviton Surge. The cart made its way through streets, stopping just a meter away from the second checkpoint, thanks to a lethal tactical visor that swung a grim teamfight back to the defense's favor and allowed them to hold the cart to finish the half. Meta too went with a true dive comp for their turn on offense, utilizing the lack of coordination from Rhinos to find an early pick on Lucio, then cornering the tanks in close quarters where Libero's Genji farmed up his ultimate charge. The defense, now on the back foot, continued to give up ground in the streets and soon needed their own last stand heroics, but they could not match the superior ult economy from Meta, who slowly but surely locked down every meter needed to reach the goal and take map 2. Rhino's Gaming weren't ready to give up just yet though and made good time during their point A capture on Volskaya with the help of Tyrant's Nano Blade double killing the Meta Athena support players. Rhino spent both of their support holds during the point A take and found little progress without them for any snowball point B attempt. Once they built up all the tools they could ask for, the subsequent disjointed push left them with members being picked off early before they could even use their ults. They ended the half without any progress on B against Libero's fantastic Sombra play and team wiping EMPs. Swapping sides, point A again fell to the attackers fast, this time to Meta Athena, who moved on to point B with almost 7 minutes remaining on the clock to grab only 33% capture progress to end the series. Mango, on his own defensive Sombra, found his opportunity, landing an EMP on both Meta tanks in close quarters, but the EMP didn't disable Nuss, who had the transcendence ready to keep his team healthy. This turned the tide of the fight and cleaned the point of defenders, utilizing Sire player's tactical visor as well to finish the map and the match. A 3-0 was achieved in the end, but it was in Meta Athena's favor who move on second place from their group, meaning they have to accept their fate in terms of what group they'll be in and who their first opponents will be. If you've enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click subscribe over here, and to watch the next video, click here. Thank you very much for your likes and comments in the meantime, and don't forget to share. I'll see you for the next match.